Hello, Time here. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to stylize our animated character by adjusting its proportions in animation mode. We'll use the freeze pose to model function to retain these changes. We're going to change the size of the head, feet and hands, and change the shoulder width. While we could change the shape entirely in modeling mode, this method doesn't auto adjust the skeleton. This is why we'll make the major changes in animation mode using the bone transform fields and then use the freeze pose to model function as this method lets us change both the shape and the skeleton simultaneously. Before we go into animation mode, I want to first squash these points in between the shoulders while in modeling mode to make room for the shoulders to be closer to each other. Okay, with that done, switch into animation mode. Because we don't want to capture anything to our animated sequence, toggle out of Auto Capture by clicking this button. Click this button to set the default pose. Click the right shoulder bone, open its control panel, and then translate the shoulder in by clicking this Increment button. To keep our posing symmetrical, toggle into Mirror Pose Mode. This results in left limbs mirroring any change we make to the right limbs. To increase the size of the head, click the head bone and increase the scale for the X, Y and Z dimensions equally. Same as for the head, to increase the size of the hands, click a wrist and increase the scales X, Y and Z components equally. And again, to increase the size of the feet, click an ankle and increase the scale field equally. I can see the lower segment for my legs looks shorter than my thighs, so I'm going to shorten the length of the thighs by clicking on a knee and translating up a centimeter. Instead of changing the amounts in centimeters using the decrement or increment buttons, you can change the amounts in millimeters if you hold down the control key while using these buttons. Translate the pelvis until the base of the feet are level to the ground. With our character stylized as desired, click Freeze Pose to model, and then click OK. Now if we go into modeling mode, we can see our model has retained its shape and position with the skeleton aligned correctly. Now we're back in modeling mode, we can adjust individual control points to accommodate the more radical changes we made when we were in animation mode. Switching back into animation mode, it looks fine to me, so I see no need to fix anything. But depending on which parts of your skeleton were modified, you may find that you need to adjust your captured poses, so that your feet are positioned where they were before in your animation. Before making any refinements to your poses, don't forget to toggle back into Auto Capture Mode. The position of my feet ended up fine, so I don't need to fix anything. But to show how you can adjust the position of your entire animation by offsetting the height of all the recorded positions of the pelvis, I'm going to raise my feet 2 cm up from where they currently are. First, set the slider to the beginning and then select all of the timeline. Then click Copy and then click Paste. Before clicking OK, tick the Transform field and set the amount we want to offset the position of the pelvis to the Translation field. This is much quicker than changing each individual captured pose, but depending on the complexity of your animation, you may still want to refine some of your poses individually after changing the proportions of your character.